In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add your own robot into Unity and how you can add different kind of functionalities on your robot. At the end of the video, you will be able to add your robot in this robot selection window. After that, you will be able to decrease and increase the scale and the distance between the axles of your robot. And in the end, you will be able to control your robot. It will go forward, backward, it will slide right and left and it will turn left and right so let's start currently i have a robot that is completely empty it doesn't contain any kind of physics on it at all it's just a simple empty model so let's start working on it first of all what you need is you need to add two things one is rigid body which will add gravity to your robot let's give it a mass of 20 and the second thing you need to add is you need to add a box glider which will make this robot collide with its surroundings now currently this box glider is way bigger than our robot to, to adjust its dimensions just click on this edit glider button and from here you can edit the dimensions of the glider now we want this glider only on the body of the robot not the wheels so from here you can just adjust the gliders now we have added the box glider too and if you play the scene you will see that the rigid body will apply gravity and the box glider will stop this robot to go through the floor so perfect this is working correctly now we will add wheel gliders on all of these wheels which will be used to move this robot forward and backward for adding wheel glider let's first create an empty game object will will which will contain the gliders again create an empty game object and let's rename it to wheel collider front left now place this wheel collider exactly at the center of the front left wheel this app game object is going to hold the wheel collider for this wheel try to place it exactly in the center Perfect. Now for adding wheel glider, select this game object, click on add component, type wheel glider and select it. Now if you can see, the wheel collider is added but currently its radius is, radius is way bigger than the radius of the wheel. Now I have done this before and I know the exact values which are which we, which we are going to be used to for this wheel collider. Let's give it a mass of 1, radius of 0.05 and in the y axis we are going to give a value of 0 0.15 and this will place the wheel collider exactly where we want now you can play with these values for your own robot and you can see which values are better for placing your wheel collider on the wheel perfectly now currently the as you can see this uh, this part holds the functionality of the spring that this wheel collider will add on your robot now we don't want such big values of springs otherwise our robot will bounce in the air now these are the perfect values 230 for my robot so i'm going to give a spring 200 and damper 30 so these are the values that i'm going to use for my wheel collider and these are the steps how you can add a wheel collider to you your robot now i'm going to duplicate this wheel collider and i'm going to add it on the rest of the wheels for duplicating the wheel collider click ctrl d it will duplicate the wheel collider now drag and place the collider where you want now this is going to be front right wheel collider again duplicate this is going to be our 
back right duplicate and this is going to be our back left wheel collider back left and back right this is how you can add wheel colliders to your robot now you need two scripts for controlling the dimensions of the robot and for controlling the movement of the robot I have already made those two scripts you just need to select them drag them and drop them on your robot now the first one is going to be robot controller script this will control the dimensions of your robot now there are some values that you need to assign in this script the first one is going to be our robot the second one in the wheel section I have made two empty objects one is front wheel front axle controller it contains the front axle front left wheel and front right wheel the other one is the back axle controller it contains the back axle and the back wheels now the, I am going to use these empty game objects to control the distance between the axles so I am going to assign the front axle controller to the front wheel and back axle controller to the back wheel now in the robot body assign the robot again you don't need to assign the rest of the values and in the speed just assign 0.5 this is the speed with which the robot will change its dimensions and the distance between the axles now this is the one script that you need and for the movement of the robot you need another script called simple robot controller again in this script you need to assign the values just assign first of all assign the colliders the first one is front right wheel collider front left wheel collider back right wheel collider and back left wheel collider now in the transforms assign the front axle to the front right wheel transform and front left wheel to the front left transform back axle to the back right and back left wheel to the back left transform and in the motor force assign a value of 1 it's enough for moving the robot forward and backward and this is all you need to do for controlling your robot in unity and in the end click on canvas and here you can add your own robot to the list just drag and drop it here in the screen now if you play the scene you will be able to see that in the end here is your robot selected from here you can decrease and increase its scale and distance between the axles selected and in the last you will be able to move your robot forward and backward it will slide left and right and it will turn left and right and these are the simple steps that you need to follow to make your own robot work in unity